Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Ahoy hoy. Welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19, where I review all of the best memes this last two weeks from <laughs> dank memes from site 19. Let's get started. Also, you may notice there's a little bit of a scratch right here on my face. I accidentally insulted the honor of a samurai retainer and got into a honor duel. Um, it worked out okay. Uh, neither of us died. Uh, I got to keep the jar of fruit and the jug of water, so I call that a win. MTF 8 of 10, evil. <laughs> I don't know where this uh, new little... <laughs> so there's this weird thing going on in the dank memes subreddit where they're just like, I guess making memes out of MTFs, MTF 8 of 10 being see no evil, which is the name of the... I don't know. It's funny, I guess, but I don't know how many times they can do uh, an unexpected, uh, <laughs> unexpected evil. I'm aware of the effect they have on people. <laughs> uh, what's this? The, that's the Idris Elba meme, right? Yeah, where he's like, comes in and he's like, I'm aware of the effect I have on women. Yeah. I don't think he is. I don't think this SCP is aware of the effect it has on people. It tries to be scary, and it fails horribly. <laughs> Why? Other Series 6 articles. Megalomania. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I don't think megalomania is that silly. Uh, then again, we got powerful wizard Ruth Gator, Ruth Gator Binsberg still doing it. I still say it every once in a while. I think I did a tweet about that. I was like, what if... <laughs> if Ruth Bader Ginsburg transformed herself into an alligator. Could we call her Ruth Gator Binsberg? Anyway. The UN in real life. The UN CP universe. I think this actually came out before I did my GOC thing, uh, but I think I made that point at least uh, tangentially in the GOC. The, US, the UN is so ineffectual in general, and somehow in the SCP universe, though, it is the most powerful destructive thing in the universe. <laughs> Man, 2020 can't get any worse. April 2020. <laughs> the Foundation tries to kill everyone because of course they do. Uh, sometimes I feel like the Foundation is trying to kill everyone and even when they're not trying to kill everyone. Uh, say the line, Doctor. Four fucking pixels. <laughs> Again, more CP096 short film memes. Dr. Bright, Dr. Clef, let's do something really scary. Dr. Glass, we could go to bed early and be alone with our thoughts. No, that is not something I want to do either. No, no, let's stay up, it'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know who ever made this meme, but man, uh, he, he's, he sounds like a handsome devil, I'll tell you what. Oh, man, this is, I think the first, I think it's the first meme I actually bothered to post to the subreddit itself. I've done a couple for these videos, like at the, as introductions, but this is the first one I actually posted to, see, because, okay, <laughs> I mean, this works even without the context of the 096 film, but remember when I was watching the 096 film and I said it, it seemed, it reminded me of the screaming, uh, J Jimmy Barnes? I think it's Jimmy Barnes. It reminded me of screaming Jimmy Barnes, so then I just threw this together, because, well, you know, whatever. Hey, babe, want to come over? Can't, in containment. I saw your face. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if there's a way to, like... I mean, because he, he can only run. There's got to be ways to... Oh, man. There's got to be ways to force it. Like, he, he can't... He can't run forever. You can't run forever! There's got to be ways to like set up, a, not a treadmill on his floor, but like something that w that doesn't allow him to actually get any motion going. It's got to be, right? Anyway. Maybe some sort of anomalous thing that creates zero friction. Although zero friction would probably be so insanely useful for other reasons. Nah, whatever. Me. Watching some YouTuber explain an SCP. Actually reading it. <laughs> hey man, this is how we make our livings. That's all I'm saying. There's nothing. You forgot to start the presentation.
Moro 96 short film. <laughs> this one I actually particularly liked when I saw it. Just a blank screen. If 094 wore a face mask, would he wear it like this or this? Um, he's already wearing a face mask. I mean, the Plague Doctor mask is the medieval equivalent of a face mask, so it's a lot less effective, but it still is what it is. That is that's the purpose of it. When you're reading SCP-1730 and laughing at the stupidity of the GOC taking over the Foundation because they went broke, and then they fucking kill Dr. Samaria. <laughs> My character dies in so many articles. It's, it's great. It's great. Uh, I think I even opened one of my tales with uh, Dr. Samarian getting his head blown off. Yeah, it's good times. Good times. Random person. I think that Dr. Samarian, no. T Tentacles erupt from the stomach of your dead brother Ross during his funeral and start stabbing people. Panic. The guy giving the eulogy starts chanting, laugh is fun. Calm. The guy... Look, there's a lot of <laughs> stuff. People think that this is the problem. People think that there's some sort of how like the wiki mods somehow moderate content on the SCP wiki. The wiki mods won't let me, you know, I, they deleted my article because it went down. No, they deleted your article because it got, it got below negative 10. They don't give a crap how good or bad your article is. The only thing that matters for the deletion thing is the rating, which generally reflects the quality of an article, but is not itself a sole determination of quality. Uh, there's plenty of very highly rated shit articles. And I guarantee you, every once in a while, not yours, yeah, I'm looking at you, the guy who thinks that he wrote a great article that it just got deleted off the site because the site wasn't ready for it or he was too brave and he tried too many things that were fancy and new not you but i guarantee that there are articles that have been deleted off the site that were good enough they just somehow didn't make it <laughs> someone series one is the best one <laughs> their opinion uh that doesn't count i think the uh, what was it was it was what does he have that in his it was the question was why does he have that in one of his drawers so i mean why not first of all it's a hunting knife second of all i got a lot of stuff in these drawers here hold on what's the coolest thing i have Ooh, that, that'll do so it's not the full set see i got dice <laughs> doing a di <laughs> doing a dice uh, do dice display video all of a sudden. I got a bunch of other dice as well that are like just the same color but frosted. What else is in here? Um, oh, spread all over the place. But uh, parts from a Magic the Gathering deck. I was building a red. Uh, uh, what's it called? A budget fire deck for my nephew. Uh, there's the other dice right here in this thing. But most importantly, I've got this, which you can purchase on my store. Let's see, I've got the poster right here. I've got the, you can't see it, but I'm wearing the hoodie. You're wrong about this hoodie. And I've got the coffee mug. I'm actually thinking about putting together some new designs maybe in the next month or two. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Dr. Samarian waiting for the 096 short film so we can list everything wrong with it. Sure. I mean, not really, though. I was not. I was I actually really, really liked the film. <laughs> it's the funny thing is, like, no matter what you do, if you say something negative about something, you hate it. You either hate it or you love it. And there's no in between. I can't be like, I, I there are some things I don't love it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. And I thought there was a lot of flaws, which is fine. Anyway. Uh, your mother. Uh, I knew this was going to continue. I like, well, the whole point of me creating this was to give people the opportunity to turn it into additional memory. So here we are. The influx of users because of SCP-096, the Butterfly Squad already up to their nose in ideas and drafts. The critique system on the SCP wiki is getting slowly and slowly strangled to death. <laughs> There's... There's got to be monumental changes, and they keep trying incremental changes. 
just are, I'm sure they're helping in the short term, but it's just going to get worse. You make little incremental changes and you're like, okay, we, we can handle it just barely. And then another thing happens. Okay, well now we can, we'll do something, we'll do something different. And now we can handle it, but just barely. And it just continues on and on and on. If your girlfriend is an esoteric Apollyon object class, kills everyone, indestructible, containment procedures is appeasement, badly formatted or humanoid, that's not your girlfriend. That's a writer who never read the guides. Can I add in, uh, n has a name? <laughs> can I, can I add in, has a very prominently placed name or nickname <laughs> as a possible here? Oh my God, everyone wants to put themselves or people they know into their SCP articles. It is so silly and so obvious every time. And the problem isn't necessarily doing it. Honest to God. Create your, uh, create your author avatars. I'd be a hypocrite. Well, I would, I am a hypocrite, I'm sure. But I'd be more of a hypocrite if I were to tell you not to do that because obviously Dr. Sumerian's a thing. But here's what I would tell you. Ease into it, motherfuckers. Your first article does not have to be you. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to have you as the only person the SCP can talk to. Let's get your wish fulfillment bullshit out of the writing process and just write good articles, you stupid motherfuckers. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to get this, oh, hold on, let's see if you can see my finger. If you'd like to get this or this or this, you can go on over to the store. Now, if you go scroll down a little bit, there's a carousel with all my products in it. You can click on any of them. It'll take you to the store and you can find the other stuff as well. If you want to click something specific because that's what you want, you can get those. You can scroll the whole store though. Um, also, if you would like to uh, see this kind of content as soon as it comes out, every two weeks I do the Dank Memes videos. Just while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then, after you're done doing that, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian, like everybody here on the screen already has, including my $40 patrons like Manuel Nortorp, and probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for pledging. And thank you very much for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And just for the record, neither are you. I'll see you all again on Thursday.